You're talking today about how you're making decisions for the next generation when, you know, your son's generation, but your grandfather was such a renaissance man, and I was making me think about, like, his legacy and what your legacy and what that's going to bring to, um, you know, the next generation, or what you're hoping to bring those philosophies. Well, you know, basically when you own an estate like Boca Sam, you don't really own it. You basically uh, take care of it for the next generation. Right. And you try to uh, to give them something in an even better shape than what you receive. So basically it's a, it's a continuity. Uh, and uh, the thing is not to follow fashion. You know, in viticulture, like in everything, there is a fashion, trends. Right. Uh, but trends are never good. Uh, and uh, continuity, you know, respect of the soil, uh, of the terroir and, and basically trying to keep the land in the best possible shape. That's what we try to right. do. Right, to be good stewards exactly. of the earth. Um, and you touched upon it also today, the sort of some of the misperceptions around rosé. Yes. I was just going to ask you, you, know, you said a good one needs to be dry. But what are some of the misperceptions you're trying to dispel? Well, no, we are just trying to, to show how great rosé can be. Uh, the fruit, the florality, uh, the, the minerality in the wine, that's really important. For my taste, yes, it has to be dry. Uh, uh, but the most important is really the balance. And uh, I think the misperception about rosé very often were for wines which are not balanced because very sweet, for instance, and wines which don't make you want to drink more wine. You know? And, uh, and rosé is about enjoying, sharing, and you know, enjoying life basically. So that's what it is about. And here in the Gulf, of course, we have all this access to fresh seafood. And I was wondering, from your perspective, are there wines or varietals that are unique or not common to pair with seafood that people don't think of? Um, you know, we make a bocastel white with a grape called Roussan. And Roussan is a, a grape which, uh, because we grow it on soil, which are limestone soil. So limestone basically are marine deposits from millions of years ago. Roussan has this capacity to, uh, when the roots are deep enough, to basically extract the minerality and the iodine. From the, uh, from the from the limestone, and uh, this wine I think go extremely well with seafood because uh, the texture is going to match, you know, texture like a lobster, you know, uh, flesh. But then the iodine from the limestone, which has been basically conveyed to the wine by the roussal, is going to match the iodine of the dish. So so it's usually a nice one. So I would suggest roussal and, and bocastel in particular. I'm gonna check it out.